Hi, welcome all to Get Coders. Thank you so much for joining me today. My name is Mohit and I'm community learning specialist. And this is a program where we do technology and we do some coding, drag and drop coding activities and some other technology thing uh, to learn more about technology and uh, creative way of learning coding stuff. So tonight we'll be doing a program. Tonight we'll be doing use it. We'll be using code.org, and then we'll be using uh, practice a uh, thing for artificial intelligence. So we'll be learning about what is artificial intelligence, and then we'll be also doing a small practice on how what do you understand by artificial intelligence and how you can create artificial intelligence by yourself. So let's start with a video about what is artificial intelligence and what is machine learning. So let's watch this video and then I'm going to explain you a little bit more and then we'll go about activity for today. This is a different program. Normally we do drag and drop coding. And in the past we have done how to make animated videos with different softwares. And we have also done how to make Jeff by ourselves. But Tonight, we are trying something new. We are learning what is artificial intelligence and what is machine learning. So let's go ahead and start with this video. You can just, you know, just keep, keep on this tab and you can watch this video with me, or you can just start it on your computer and you can video by yourself. My name is Ali Flores, and I'm a product manager at Alexa. This is Dr. Chelsea Hout. I work at the Allen Institute for Artificial Intelligence, and I work on an AI-powered academic search engine. All around you, computers are making decisions, and those decisions affect your daily life. When you do an internet search or scroll through your newsfeed, computers decide what you see. Computers can already recognize your face, and understand your voice. And soon they'll be driving cars and detecting diseases even better than humans. So how is any of this possible? You may have heard about something called AI, or artificial intelligence. True artificial intelligence is decades away. There's a type of AI called machine learning that is here today. It's a type of AI you probably interact with every day without even knowing it. And it has the opportunity to help us tackle some of the world's biggest challenges. Machine learning is how computers recognize patterns and make decisions without being explicitly programmed. What's so exciting is that it's a completely different way to program a computer than what we've ever done before. With machine learning, instead of programming a computer step by step, you can program a computer to learn just like you learn. Trial and error and lots of practice. Learning comes from experience, and that's true for machine learning too. In this case, experience means lots and lots of data. Machine learning can take in any kind of data. Images, video, audio, or text. And begin to recognize patterns in that data. Once it learns to recognize patterns in the data, it can also learn to make predictions based on those patterns, like noticing the difference between an image of a car and an image of a bicycle. AI and machine learning are playing a bigger and bigger role in society at large and shaping all of our futures. That's why it's so important to learn how it works with some hands-on experience. You're about to get the chance to train your own machine learning model. Remember, AI is like any tool. First you get the knowledge, then you get the power. So this was an introductory video about artificial intelligence. So as we learned, Artificial intelligence refers to a simulation of human in intelligence in machines that are programmed to think like human and mimic the reactions.
So today's activity is that we are learning artificial intelligence for ocean. So we have a garbage box and we have to make our machine learn that which is what is garbage and what is not a garbage. As we just learned from the video that in machine learning, which is a part of artificial intelligence, we make our computer learn about some things and then let our computer make decision that it is the same thing that we learn or it is a different thing. So in this situation, in this activity for today, what we are going to do, we are going to learn about garbage in the ocean. So we will see different things that belongs to all ocean and then we will also see, also see different things which, are not, which do not belong to all ocean. So which are garbage for ocean. So we have to put things in a box and we have to make our machine learn that what is important for ocean. And then we will, as our system, as a computer, as a machine, as an artificial intelligence machine will learn this thing, then we will implement this an artificial intelligence machine and that will learn that which is important for ocean or not. So, as I said earlier, what you can do is you can go ahead and you can keep doing the activity as you see this video, this webinar, or you can wait until I finish and then you can do the activity by yourself. So you will see the, so as you see on the top here, I'll tell you some about the interface. So if here is sign in option, so you can make a sign in for yourself. Like you can use, you can create a username and you can create a password. Why this will be helpful? Because if you have a username and password, then you will be able to log in anytime on code.org and you can save your progress all the time. And then for here, this is the name of the lesson today, which is artificial intelligence for ocean. And then these are different level of puzzles that you that we'll be doing tonight. So we have eight number of different puzzles that we'll be doing. And then on this area, you will see all the activity and you will do the activity. And then your instructions will appear at the bottom here. So let's go ahead and start with our first, second puzzle. The first was about the video. We just heard the video and just we understood uh, what is artificial intelligence and what is machine learning and how machine learning is helping us uh, today with a lot of things. So let's go ahead and start with the activity and read up, read about, read our first instruction, which is garbage dumped in the water affects marine life. In this activity, you will program or train artificial intelligence to identify fish or trash. Let's clean up the ocean. Click anywhere on the screen to continue. So as I explained earlier, this is uh, this is a activity to make our artificial intelligence machine understand that which is the thing which belongs to ocean or which is thing which doesn't belong to the ocean. Hi, someone said hi. Well, hi Mia. So yeah, we are just doing this. Uh, I hope you are getting me. Uh, maybe if you have if you have uh, joined later, there is, uh, I'm gonna paste, copy paste a link again. This is the link, you can click on this link and we just watch the video. Uh, you can watch that video and then you can go ahead and join us in the activity. So what we are learning tonight, we are learning about artificial intelligence and machine learning. So machine learning is a part of artificial in intelligence. So we will be doing, we'll be learning what are those today and then we'll be doing the activity and we are making our machine learn that what is, uh, what belongs to ocean and what is trash uh, for ocean. And then we will, uh, as our machine learn, we will ask our machine to recognize by itself. So this is our second puzzle and we're going to click on the screen. So it will be, it will, it will keep you giving you instructions and with this arrow signs, you can see, uh, you know, what do you have to do? So this is the artificial intelligence machine on our right hand side. And our mission is tonight to clean the ocean. We are working for a very big mission, which is very important for our nature. As all of us, we know that ocean people, they keep, uh, you know, people and corporation, uh, they just keep making ocean, you know,
you know, dumping things which do not belong there, which is not good for our nature and for our ocean. So we are doing a very big, uh, you know, uh, thing today that we are trying to clean ocean and we are trying to create an artificial intelligence machine for ocean, which can learn. So first we prepare this machine. We have to make our machine learn that which belongs, what thing belongs to ocean and what does not belong to ocean. And after that, once this machine learn, it can work by itself and it can put the things in the trash, which does not belong to the ocean. So first we are meeting our artificial intelligence machine that is on the right hand side with a smiley face here. It's smiling because it's working for a big cause tonight. Okay. So AI doesn't know if an object is a fish or trash, but it can process image and identify patterns. So this is the this is the lesson number one. And then we also uh, heard this and learned this in the video that artificial intelligence is is not able to do anything by itself unless we train it. So artificial intelligence is a machine, and then machine can learn whatever we want them to learn. So tonight we are making artificial intelligence machine learn that which object is a fish or which object is a trash for ocean. So it can process images and it can identify patterns. And after that, it will be able to make its own decision by itself that this, if this thing belongs to ocean or if, thing, if this thing doesn't belong to ocean. But in order to learn those things by artificial intelligence ma machine, you have to do a very good job and you have to make your machine learn in a very good way that it can identify all the things very quickly, fastly, and with accuracy. So let's go ahead and... So always remember tonight we are on a mission to make our ocean clean and the mission is doing by artificial intelligence machine and this artificial intelligence machine doesn't know anything by itself we have to train it this is the concept this is the logic of machine learning that all the machines they can learn and they can recognize images and they can recognize pattern but then you have to feed data in it you have to make them understand that which which image is good and which image is not good so we are starting with our first process today, first step. So it says to program artificial intelligence machine, use the buttons to label an image as fish or not fish. The training you provide will teach AI to recognize pattern on its own. Let's get started, okay. So as we see the first is fish. And as I said earlier, you can go ahead and do the activity along me with me and you can also text me if you face any problem okay so i just click on fish because that was an artificial uh that was a fish so i wanted that to go to my artificial intelligence machine uh database so if you will see that you know uh when you click on fish it will go into the artificial intelligence bin it means that it's storing that data it means that it's storing the process I'm sorry, it, it means it's storing the images. It means it's storing the pattern. It's learning the pattern so that in future it can make its own decision. And the second is not a fish, so I'm gonna click on not fish and then not fish again. And then this is a fish, I'm gonna click on fish and then uh, not fish. And then it's going, it's going to give you messages in the middle of uh, you know the video, the activity that we're doing, and it's giving me a message that 17 billion pounds of plastic enter the ocean each year. So this is why it's very important to take care of our oceans and take and make sure that you know we always keep them clean and we should not dump we should not dump you know things which do not belong there. Perfect. I got a message from Jonathan, and they have uh, done over 300. Very good job. Just keep going and then you will see that machine will work by itself. Perfect, good job. You are making your machine learn to all the images and all the pattern. So you click on continue. Keep going, perfect. So this is not a fish, so not fish, and then fish, and then not fish. 
this is the logic and concept behind uh, artificial intelligence that you have to make your machine learn you have to make your machine understand what do you want that what do you want machine to do and now we have another message that says 80% of ocean pollution comes from land debris and estimated to cost 13 billion dollar per year oh that's too much i didn't know about this but then you will keep getting messages like this and this is the message that i see on my screen it's very very important it says artificial intelligence learns from your choices if you make wrong choices artificial intelligence will repeat your mistake keep training this is a very important message uh, you know in the sense of whenever we want to make our machine learn whenever we want whenever whenever we want our machine to learn about images and you know process data and also uh, remember the patterns it's always very important that we should make good choices and we should always uh, you know correct correct choose the correct patterns or images for artificial intelligence because if we make mistake machine is going to learn wrong things and it's going to do wrong things later it's it's very much like if we go to school and then you know if we are not learning good things and then uh, then we are going to do wrong in exams because we just learn the wrong things so it's very important to learn you know right things perfect i got another message good job yeah keep going yes so i'm going to click on not fish i'm very slow uh, you know, I'm doing it slow uh, other than all of us, but then I'm just explaining you as I go. So just keep going. And I also I also want to make sure you learn things with activity. You learn about artificial intelligence, you learn about machine learning, and you also learn about the things that we are going to do, uh, you know, the facts that we are seeing today in the lesson. So it says continue with ready. So if you think that you have done enough, I have got messages from uh, two kids. They have done they have done a good job. They have done more than 250 or 300. So if you think you are done, so always remember it depends upon you. For example, if I am training a machine, an artificial intelligence machine, it depends upon me. If I think this is enough data, I can just make artificial machine to work. And if I think I need more data, I have to feed more, there could be more objects, there could be more, you know, bottles, type of different bottles, there could be different type of cans, there could be different type of trash objects that can go into ocean. So I have to go ahead and keep, you know, training my machine. So I'm, I'm just going to train more. And you, are, yeah, there could be another thing, there could be different type of fishes too. So... I just want to recognize all type of fishes by my machine and all type of trash. I just don't want to give my machine an, an excuse so that it get confused and it says, you know, oh, I don't know that object. So I'm confused if I do this, you know, uh, uh, if this thing belongs in the ocean or it doesn't belong in the ocean. So this is very important, you know, to train your machine good and train your machine with different kind of objects. Always remember you have to feed as much data as you can in your machine because this is very important. Because you know, if your machine doesn't know about that object and you have not put that object in data, your machine is gonna be, you know, confused and then it's just gonna say that, you know, I don't know what to do with this object. So when you think you are you are done, like I have 60, 68 objects. So I just wanna make, make sure I can show you other things. So I'm just gonna click on continue. And the next is, the next step is, uh, you know, the artificial intelligence working. So now I can see how my artificial intelligence is going to work on my training. So I just trained my machine as we saw in the video I, I advise you, all of you guys, if you haven't seen the video, just go back when we, whenever we're done with this activity. Always, you know, just go, go back and see the video. That is the number one here, number one level. 
that video will tell you that what is machine learning. You train the machine first, you make the machine learn. And after that, you, uh, you know, you run the test to see if your machine has learned enough uh, in order to distinguish, distinguish between the objects that you want to do. So I'm going to click on run here. And I'm going to see. So I have done one thing wrong. So I didn't, I didn't choose that object as a, I chose that fish as a trash. So that was wrong training on my part. Make sure you do the training right. And you make sure that you know, all the objects that you are choosing as a trash, they should be trash. And all the fishes are the sea creatures you are choosing that belong to ocean. So now my machine is running this process. Now artificial intelligence is running, you know, the thing that it, it has to be done with via machine learning and via artificial intelligence. So you can keep keep looking at this, or you can just click on continue and then you can go to number three. How so number so it's going it's asking me a question now. Based on your training, there are some objects that artificial intelligence identified as fish. How did AI do? Well, my AI chose two, I think two or three fishes as a trash, and those were fishes. So I should train them more. But I want to go ahead and click on continue so that I can sh I can show you another lessons. But if you think that your artificial intelligence and machine learning has a fault and it is not doing what it should be done, choosing all the all the fishes and objects that live in the ocean. You can click on train more and you can train your machine more. Okay. Click here to switch between objects identified and fish and not fish. So it's asking me to train more or continue. I'm gonna click on continue so that I can show you all the lessons here. So it's gonna take me on lesson number three. So as we saw that in the starting, we have eight lessons. We are now number three now. So far, we trained artificial intelligence to identify objects and either fish or not fish. What if this training data was used to decide what belonged in water? See, this is what I was saying. There are more creatures in ocean than fish, fishes. So now we are going to see other sea creatures. This is the artificial intelligence that we just made our machine learn. See, there are other creatures, but my, my artificial intelligence, they are just treating them as trash because I did not provide my artificial machine that information that these creatures also believe in, also belong in ocean. They should be in the ocean and they are not trash. So I have to provide more training now. So you can also go, so you can also go, you know, with me or you can train more if you want. So in this lesson number four, we are going to see more creatures other than just fishes. And then, and now we have a fact here. It says in the ocean, plastic debris can harm fish, seabirds, marine mammals. Protecting seabirds and marine life is one of the many reasons to keep the ocean clean. So we just uh, discussed this in the starting of the class that this is very important to keep our ocean clean. And then there are so many organizations and there are so many, uh, you know, people that are coming forward and they are helping us with this mission. They're helping us with this noble cause, cause that they're trying to, you know, help us with clean the ocean. And we are also working on this. We are making our artificial intelligence tonight. 
uh, to keep the ocean clean. The more training data you provide, the more artificial intelligence learn. Keep training. Now, this is this is a lesson where we have more creatures than fishes. So now we are going to see you know different mammals, different kind of fishes. There's another fact which is marine plastic pollution has impacted at least 267 species worldwide, including 86% of all sea turtle species. We have to keep training because we want to, uh, we want our, we, we want our artificial intelligence to just not know about fishes, but about all the animals, about all the creatures, those live in the ocean. So we have to keep working and you guys keep working with me. And always remember if you, and always remember if you have any questions, you can write me in the chat box on the message window and I'll answer that question for you. I hope it's working fine for you. Just keep training your artificial intelligence system. And tonight we are learning the concept of machine learning and artificial intelligence. Artificial intelligence and uh, you know machine learning, they are everywhere now. They are, they are on your phone, they are on your computer, they are, you know, all the big social media that we use. They are on, they are in, you know, every software companies. It's, it's going to be a very big thing. Every company, every software company, you know, every uh, e-commerce website, Amazon, Facebook, Twitter, every, every big company, they use artificial intelligence and they, this is how they work on artificial intelligence and machine learning that they keep feeding more and more data, more and more information to their machine and they make their machine learn that what we are trying to do or what a specific individual is trying to do on their social media platform or on their e-commerce website and they try to learn you know, things from us and they try to, you know, they try to make their machine learn from us or our activities. That's how they are, you know, getting all the information and then they use it for different purposes or they use it for future recommendations for all the things that you do. So it's a very big and very powerful technology that every company and major corporation they are using So we are learning tonight what is the basic concept of artificial intelligence and what is machine learning and how it works. So you train your machine first, you give them lots of lots of data and you train your machine and you make them understand what is, which thing is which, and then you run the machine and your machine makes, your, your machine make decision by itself. And it, it tells you all the things based on all the data that you have provided. So you can keep going, whatever you can train your machines for longer so that always try to remember that we have this idea in the mind that we want our machine to, you know, get as much data as possible, get as much information as possible because then is then only there's a way that our machine can learn good things and they can help us recognize uh, things in the future when we will run the machine. So when you are done with number four, click on run. Let's watch. So I'm going to click on run and see. So this is all happening as I did in the learning of the machine. I hope all of you, you're working with me and then you're also training your machine. 
you're also making your artificial intelligence system for tonight lesson which is artificial intelligence for ocean and you're also clicking on run to make your machine work to see how does it perform after you train it perfect after the test i'm going to click on continue here and based on your training there are some objects that artificial intelligence identifies as belong in water how did ai do so i can see all the objects that my artificial intelligence identified as belong in water i think it's pretty good now there is one thing here which is trash so so there's i can still improve my artificial intelligence you know machine learning and then i can see i can still improve and i can also you know remove these objects which what do not believe in the object or what do not believe in the ocean so if you are getting this messages and if you see some of the objects which do not be belong in the ocean you have to train more this step of the making an artificial intelligence or a machine learning is also very important because you want to make sure that your machine learns good things and your machine would be able to recognize and it would be able to make differentiation between the objects that you want it to do so if you have if you have some of these objects which do not belong in here click on train more and then train your artificial intelligence more and make sure that you just get you know 100% results from your artificial intelligence machine so i'm but i'm going to click on continue but because i want to show you other levels of the other levels of this lesson so i'm going to click on continue and i'm going to go on lesson number 5 and this is another video here so i'm going to play video and then if you want if you are still working you can pause for a minute and you can listen to the video and then or if you want you can keep working and you can listen to the videos later because this is going to give us very important information about training data and bias how uh, a specific thing a specific object and specific image can be a bias for artificial intelligence system very important let's listen Machine learning is only as good as the training data you put into it. So it's super important to use high-quality data and lots of it. But if data is so important, it's worth asking, where does training data come from? Often, computers are collecting training data from people like you and me without any effort on our part. A video streaming service might keep track of what you watch. Then it can recognize patterns in that data to recommend what you might want to watch next. Other times, you're directly asked to help, like when a website asks you to spot street signs and photos. You're providing training data to help a machine learn to see and maybe even one day draw. Medical researchers can use medical images as training data to teach computers how to recognize and diagnose diseases. Machine learning needs hundreds and thousands of images and training direction from a doctor who knows what to look for before it can correctly identify a disease. Even with thousands of examples, there can be problems with the computer's predictions. If x-ray data is only collected from men, then the computer's predictions may only work for men. It may not recognize diseases when asked to diagnose the x-ray of a woman. This blind spot in the training data creates something called bias. Bias data favors some things and deprioritizes or excludes others. Depending on how training data is collected, who is doing the collecting, and how the data is fed into the computer, there is a chance that human bias is included in the data. By learning from bias data, the computer may make bias predictions. This can happen whether the people training the computer are aware of it or not. So when you are looking at training data, ask yourself two questions. Is this enough data to accurately train a computer? And does this data represent all possible scenarios and users without bias? 
this is where you as the human trainer can play a crucial role. It's up to you to give your machine unbiased data. That means collecting tons of examples, often from lots of different sources. Remember, when you pick and choose data for machine learning, you're actually programming the algorithm using training data instead of code. The data is the code. The better the data you provide, the better the computer will learn. So this was the video about training data in bias. So as we see this, as we see that, uh, that this lady was talking about, you know, if we do not have, have the specific data, like in the medical examination, if we do not have the specific data for women and only for men, then it can be a bias and it can give us wrong results. So this is also, this is always important as we earlier talked about this, always very important to, uh, you know, feed as much data as we can with our to our training machine, to our artificial intelligence machine, to make sure they know all the options, they know all the data points, they know all the uh, you know results that can be available, all the things they can that can be an option, so that you know whenever we run the artificial artificial machine, they should have something like uh, you know a data point in their database. Uh, which they see to you know result which they see to approve so this is also very important to feed in as much data as we can to our artificial intelligence machine so that we do not get any bias because if we want our machine to be best we want our machine to be you know learn very good things so that it can give us good results so i'm going to click on continue here and i'm going to go to lesson number six And we got a messages from Jonathan that he's already done. Good job, Jonathan. And then, you know, we have another lesson number six here, which is what type of fish do you want to train AI to detect? So this is, this lesson is more about, you know, pattern. If we say that, you know, we only want red and circular, we can choose a different pattern of the you know, object that we want to uh, get detected by artificial machine. Okay. So now, now we are making an artificial intelligence, a different algorithm of machine learning, which is going to recognize a specific kind of fish, which is red. So you can, so this means you can always, you can also train your machine learning for the specific objects. For example, if I am putting this in artificial, if I am putting my artificial intelligence machine, and then I want all the bottles, all the plastic bottles to be collected in the ocean first, so that I can dump them all the, all of them together at a separate place. So I can make an artificial intelligence machine just for, uh, which can only recognize plastic bottles. So we can use it for a specific purposes and we can use it for specific, uh, you know, motive. Right now here we are choosing, we are making an artificial machine learn which are the red fishes, only the red fishes. So you can, so this lesson is, this lesson is talking about specific artificial machine learning. If you want to talk about a specific thing, you can also train your artificial intelligence about that thing. So I'm gonna click on run and I'm going to see how is my machine is going to work. Well, this is not doing very well because I didn't train, uh, you know, too much. I didn't train very much to my artificial intelligence machine. So always, as we have been talking about this, this is very important to train your machine with so many. Yeah, you can leave. Thank you so much for joining us, Mia, tonight. Thank you so much for joining us. 
and you can join us uh, next Tuesday, same time, five to six. Have a good night. So this is the machine learning for red fishes here. We just trained our machine for specific kind of fishes. And always, always remember there would be whenever you're doing anything with the artificial intelligence and machine learning, you will get to a point where you will think about, do you wanna, do you want to train your machine more or you are done with the training or you want to run your machine? Always, there will be a specific point when you will ask you, you, you know, yourself this question or you will ask your machine your question. So you can go, you can do two things. Either you can do a drill and you can just see how your machine is working or always, or the second option is always go for train more. Always try to, you know, make sure that your information, you, you feed as much information as you can to your training machine or your artificial intelligence machine so that it can learn as much as it can. So I'm going to click, I'm going to click next so that I can, we have a few minutes here and there's a video. I'm going to play this video and then we, are, we will we'll be pausing here for a few minutes so that I can take any questions we have. and machine learning can affect every part of society. For instance, self-driving cars use AI to recognize their surroundings, track objects, and make super important decisions, like when to stop. Machine learning is already being used in some really amazing things. It's allowing us to be more energy efficient. We use it to improve how we grow food and manage natural resources. It's dramatically changing how we diagnose diseases and create new medicines. It's even helping the blind see. I think it's a man jumping in the air doing a trick on a skateboard. There are also risks. Consider the potential impact when machine learning is used to evaluate candidates for college admission, screen applicants for bank loans, or even predict crime or spot criminals. When using machine learnings in these types of applications, we need to make sure not to use prejudiced training data that would perpetuate human bias. As AI and machine learning change everything, it's important that you have a hand in how they're being used. More than any other technology, AI has the potential to revolutionize our lives for the better, so long as it's done in a way that avoids bias that could cause harm or inequity. The most important thing about machine learning is human learning. Knowing how this technology works is the first step on your journey to using it for good. So this video talks about how uh, machine learning can be can be biased for some things. So I just I just recently uh, you know read an example in a newspaper in a magazine. I'm sorry. So this, this example was about, so there's a city and then, you know, it, it has a lot of, it has a, it has a lot of data of people who were defaulting their loans. So, you know, the artificial intelligence uh, machine was just getting all the data about, you know, people, they're defaulting their loan loans. So what happened was they just artificial intelligence algorithm just denied giving anyone loan. So it is very important to, you know, make sure as this, uh, as we just heard that always, it's very important to understand in at the point with the respect of the thing that, you know, it's always, it cannot be biased for specific individuals. So it's very important to learn, you know, make sure that your machine learn good things and it should not be biased to people and it should not be biased to corporations. So this was, this was all about today, today's class and uh, which was for artificial intelligence and machine learning. And we did this lesson for the first time in Kid Coders. And I'm just going to show you the last, uh, last lesson, lesson number eight. So you can choose any of the, so this is about emotions. 
So you can choose any of the emotion from here, from all the all the emotions that you see, and then your artificial intelligence will ask you to train the machine for those emotions, and then you have to run the machine. Pretty much similar that we did in the previous lessons. So I hope you will be able to do it by yourself because we do not have much time here. Well, thank you so much for joining us and I hope you had a good understanding of artificial intelligence and machine learning. Well, I have a message from Paula. Thank you for the lesson. It was the best lesson ever. So cool. Well, thank you so much and you're welcome. Thank you for joining us tonight. And we do this, uh, we have been doing, I have been doing kid coders from more than one year. And we have, we always try to, you know, we always try to get information about different things and try to teach different things for kids. And this was the first time we tried artificial intelligence and machine learning for kids. And it's very important as we see, uh, you know, today it's almost everywhere, everyone is using artificial intelligence. So thank you so much, all of us for joining us tonight. I'll be here for two more minutes so that I can take any questions you may have. And then we always do advertise what we'll be doing next on our next kid coding session. So you will see it on our calendar or you will see it on our uh, social media, Facebook, Twitter, that what are we going to do in the next kid coders class. So you are welcome to join at 5 p.m. Tuesday. Okay, it looks like no one has any question for me. So I'm gonna end this session from my end. Thank you so much for joining. Keep working on your artificial intelligence lesson if you want to and keep learning. Thank you so much. Have a good night to all of you.